I've looked up the documentation for the Win32 NT event log file class because I want to create a little command that will clear the event log for certain event logs on multiple computers. So I'm going to be using the clear event log method of this class. So to start with, I'm just going to do a little bit of a test. Get event or get WMI object. The class is Win32 NT event log file. And I just want to do the one where the filter parameter is getting me the log file name of application. Okay, that got me the log I'm after. So I easily could have done that on multiple computers just by specifying the dash computer name parameter. But what I want to do instead is just test this. Regardless of whether you're retrieving that from one computer or multiple computers, you can have PowerShell execute that same method against whatever comes back by using the invoke WMI method command. And I'm just going to invoke the clear event log method. Uh, that's what it was in the documentation. Yep, clear event log. So that's all I need to run. Return value of zero generally means good news. It means no errors occurred, so I was able to successfully clear the log. This is a great way to do something against multiple objects simply because WMI is capable of bringing back multiple objects. For example, I have a couple of servers that I use for a lot of auditing testing, and that means the logs fill up very, very quickly. Uh, the security log fills up. You get a lot of things in the, the application and system logs. I occasionally like to just clear all those out. In the GUI, I'd have to go to each one and hit clear and tell it I was sure and so forth, but with PowerShell, I can do it all at once. I simply retrieve all of the log files from this computer and then invoke the clear event log method on every single one of them. So that is a batch operation. Again, I can kind of ignore these double underscore system properties in the returns and just scan through and make sure that everything came back zeros, which is all good news. Looks like it did. So now all of my logs should be cleared out and ready to go. Again, a great way of executing batch operations using WMI.